About four or five years ago, I began to read the great French novelist Georges Simenon. He achieves his effects with a very small vocabulary, very direct style, very brief paragraphs. And I decided that I would try to do something the same myself. So I became Benjamin Black and began to write crime novels. Benjamin Black and John Banville are two entirely different writers. John Banville writes very slowly. Benjamin Black writes with great fluency. When I began writing the Benjamin Black books, I was John Banville writing under another name. Over the years, Benjamin has taken on a kind of personality of his own. And I'm now split into two, which is quite interesting. Crime fiction is a good way of addressing the question of evil, why people do dreadful things to each other. The kind of crime fiction that I try to write doesn't tie up all the knots, isn't interested in a nicely rounded story. I'm perfectly happy to have some mystery as to people's motivations because that's how it is in life. When I needed a place for my protagonist, Quirk, to live, I decided I would give him my old apartment here in Upper Mount Street. When I lived here in the early 60s, I was a struggling young writer. Uh, Quirk, on the other hand, is a consultant pathologist. He would have been a very formidable figure in the Dublin of the 1950s. He would have been very well off. But I don't know that anybody lived a very comfortable life in the 1950s in Dublin. It was a, a hard time in a hard city and a dark place to live. Quirk has a very troubled background. He is an orphan, spent his childhood in what was called an industrial school, which is very Dickensian places, very violent, lots of abuse of all kinds. So his childhood was extremely troubled. And he doesn't know who he is or where he came from. I suspect that Quirk's curiosity, his driven curiosity about other people, is tied up with his own lack of a past and his own curiosity about himself. So he is a driven man. I didn't set out to write a multi-volume dynastic family saga. I just set out to write a crime book. Then I decided there was another one in it. Now I think I will certainly do some more because I find it interesting. I'm getting interested in the characters in a way that John Bamble doesn't get interested in his characters. Again, it's a kind of childish storytelling. I've, I've never really been interested in telling stories. Suddenly, as I teeter on the brink of old age, I'm beginning to tell myself stories and tell my readers stories. And this is a new, new departure for me and one that, I, that fascinates me.